Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video for you guys. This is a member of my Facebook group, no YouTube channel, just a Bolo finder. And she shares at my Bolo live show, and um, she sent me a auction that she has active right now to my Facebook group messenger so that I could share it in my Facebook group. And I was checking out her store and I'm like, I have got to feature this girl. She has amazing bolos. You guys are going to love it. So we are just going to dig right in and get started. Um, I did print off the paper and it is very tiny. So I might be like looking like this. So I'm going to tell you where she got it, what she paid for it and what it sold for. All right, the first item. Let's get screen share up. And the first item is the auction she sent me. And um, I don't have the information on this because I didn't ask her. Um, she just sent the auction to me, but I thought it was really cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. It still has six days left and it has 11 bids so far. It's currently at $58. It's a vintage Briar Creation Siamese kitten. Um, super, super interesting. I've never seen anything like it. I didn't even know that, um, Briar makes horses. I didn't know they made other animals, but here is the tag that is on the bottom. So I'm guessing it's Briar, like that makes the horses. I mean, I could be wrong. It could be another Briar. Does anybody know? If you know, put it down in the chat. So I did post this in my Facebook group, so, um, it will be there. If you guys want to go check it out and um, look for it to see what it ends up selling for. All right. The next item sold for. Okay. So it says she got it at the Goodwill for $3.99. I took a best offer of 50. It went to France. The bright colors caught my eye. Check comps. Some loot crate stuff can be money. So it's a loot crate wizarding world Harry Potter mermaid towel. Try wizard championship new. So I don't know if those are just words that she came up with. I don't know how she figured out that title. Um, I'm not even sure what this is. Oh, it's a towel. Did I say towel? Or did I say something else? It's a towel, you guys. That is amazing. Wizarding world lootware. Huh never heard of it. Have you guys heard of this? Let me know in the comments. You guys drop me comments, like comment all through the video. I want to see how many comments I can get on this video. Let's do it. All right. The next item, blown glass, bumpy heart, Christmas ornaments, feather tree, green, red, Germany, vintage. And you can see here, they're even rusty at the top, but they're very, very, um, very cool. Um, let's see. She got these for $8 at an estate sale. Found these with some shiny bright ornaments, but could tell they were different because of the pawn. Oh gosh, I can't read it. Pawn tills. That must be um, at the bottom. So is that this part or. Huh? What's a pawn till? P-O-N-T-I-L-S. Pawn tills. <laughs> okay, now you guys have another question to answer. Put it in the comments. Help me out. All right, the next item are these vintage Big Mac blue bandana pack of five. They're handkerchiefs, you guys. They have the elephant on them with the trunk up. I did a video on um, a bandana that somebody sold and it was used and it went for big money and it was actually Eddie... Um, hodgepodge. I feature his store all the time. I have a video on this item. I don't know if this is the exact same bandana, but his was used and went for big bucks. I need to go back and look at that. But you see where the elephant, it has the trunk up. I remember him saying trunk up was good. And this is new old stock, a five pack. So I'm wondering, and she's not going to want to hear this, if maybe she undersold these a little bit. Um, I wish I could go find that video like right now. Um, I'll try to remember to, uh, post it. I don't know when or where, but anyway, let's see where she got this. 
uh, less than a dollar, a state sale found three packs, even pre-owned vind vintage bandanas sell well. She is exactly right. They most certainly do. Especially the elephant with the trunk up. Okay, so these Topps Vintage Ugly Monster Name Sticker Trading Cards are actually another bolo that I have done a video on. Uh, Profit Monsters, if you guys haven't checked out him, definitely go check him out. He found a bunch of these and has been selling them like crazy. I don't know if he has any left because this was like last year, but I did feature him on um, my YouTube channel about this exact item. So definitely go check that out. I think it was, um, actually, these are Ugly Monster. I think, no, his were different. Uh, they, his were the ones, what are they called? Um, they have, like, they're stickers. I'll have to look that one up, too. My mind is not working right now. But she paid less than a dollar for these, got in a junk box at an estate sale with tons of other great vintage junk toys. So these were auction style and sold for $47.25 and the buyer paid shipping. And I cannot think of what those cards are called right now. I wish I could pause the video, but I don't think I can pause on StreamYard. All right, the next item is this vintage Buckingham Manufacturing Thread Cleaner Chaser Restorer 6103 Made in USA. And I will say this gal has great keywords. Um, Lots of keywords in her title that people are going to pick up to find this item. All right. She got this at an estate sale for $10. Still have no clue what this is. Just saw that comps were good. <laughs> I get that. Uh, sold it for $59.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this is Italian stone alabaster fruit. Realistic. Great for staging. I love selling stone fruit. It's, it's great. It does great. It's a bolo for sure. Some more than others. I've, I've never seen cherries. Those are cool. Um, let's see what she wrote. She said, got a bag full for $5 at an estate sale. So less than $2 in this lot. I'm pretty sure that I learned about stone fruit from you. Yes, that could be. I like to sell fruit. The next item is this Vintage Oxbow France po Pohono, Pohono, is that right? Um, men's sweater. It's a uh, Celtic knot brown and green. Okay, so here is the tag. And let's see. $2 at an estate sale. Took a $60 best offer. Didn't know this brand, but I could tell it was quality. Sold for best offer 60 the next item is interesting. I love it because it's one of those unexpected bolos. It's Ni Na Onion Skin Paper. What? Onion Skin Paper? What is that? And would you ever think that it was worth this kind of money? Uh, let's see. Did she take a best offer? Okay, she did. Um, she did not. She paid $2 at an estate sale. They don't make paper like this anymore. And it sold for $89.99, you guys. Look, onion skin paper. What? Onion skin paper. I never heard of such a thing, but I definitely want to find some. $89.99 plus shipping. How cool is that? So tell me in the comments, have you ever heard of onion skin paper? Ha! Love it. The next item is this interlacements yarn. And she said that she got this at an estate sale, more vintage high-end yarn, hand dyed. There were three skeins. She said she had them listed separately and somebody wanted them all. So she created a bundle for $75. And this is what it looks like. And you can tell, I mean, that, that just looks high-end. Definitely. So three skeins for $75. I love this one also. The unexpected bolos. Even though I know about this one, I still like am just shocked by it. You know, they're vintage chic personal touch razor blade refills. Um, sold for $47.59 and the buyer paid the shipping. And she got this for 50 cents at an estate sale. And she says she loves to sell any razors or blades. Yes, they can most definitely be a bolo. So these are vintage. But again, I mean... 
it's crazy. Four Rifo blades. But I mean, razor blades are kind of expensive anyway, but somebody loves these and they can't get them anymore. So they'll pay up. The next item are these Remington Tight Curls Hot Rollers. Always look up hot uh, rollers, the curlers. Some of them, not all of them, but some of them are a bolo. Um, $2 at the Goodwill. The pageant crowd, crowd loves these specific curlers. And you can see she put pageant cheer. So another great keyword. Um, and they sold for $51.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold is this Bucilla Needlework Kit. So this is a stocking. It's Bucilla. It's very vintage. It is from the 50s. Check this out. How cool is that? Um, very, very cool. It's a jeweled Christmas stocking. And this came from an estate sale, paid $2, took a best offer of $40. Vintage stockings and cross stitch kits are my favorite thing to sell. Easy to list and ship. This one wasn't complete or it would have gone for more. So, and it's slightly musty. You know, I'm looking at that and I'm like, I think I say musk, musky, <laughs> and it is musty. I say it wrong. That is so funny. Oh, uh, okay. The next one is this jelly cat, mumble lion, orange brown, plush stuffed animal. It's got the furry mane. Again, great keywords. Um, Jelly Cat is a great brand. This one is new old stock. It's got the tags. Yes, Jelly Cat London. And I actually sold a Jelly Kitten or a Jelly, I forget what it was. It's in one of my videos. But yeah, they make those too. I had no idea. But she got this at the Goodwill for $2, took a best offer of $40. Jelly Cat is a great brand of plush. This was a very rare one and new. I hope to get more, but was happy with 40. All right, let's see what else she has. The next item is this anthropology tablecloth. I told you guys she has great bolos. Uh, red, green, plaid, ruffle, Christmas, shabby, chic, round, and it's new with tags. Very cool. Um, there's a little dot right there, a little bit there, but not a big deal. Um, there, you got the tag. Okay, so she said a dollar, best offer of $55. Got it at an estate sale pickup, or I'm sorry, estate auction pickup. They had a garage full of extras They didn't that didn't make the auction. Lots of great high-end stuff. Oh, that's interesting. And that would be fun. Um, Alpaca Connection, cardigan sweater. It's embroidery flower uh, silver clasp. So it's got the fancy clasp on the front. And this was $4 last day of an estate sale and took a best offer of $50 and the buyer paid the shipping. This vintage men's long wool coat, a 42 deluxe quality sportswear black with a fur black fur collar. And I'm going to show you guys the tag, maybe. Let me see if I can get zoomed in. Yeah, so it's definitely um, a vintage jacket. $2 um, consignment store, end of season clearance sale. That's a good place to source. Uh, took a best offer of 50 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is anything Muppet hand puppet and it has the original box and advertisement. Now this is cool. I definitely would have snagged this up and fast. Um, Free table at a garage sale. Get out of town. Probably could have gotten more. Sold super fast. And before I deleted it off of Etsy, it sold there as well. Should have auctioned it. Yeah, I was going to say when I saw this one, I'm like, wow, I would have listed that like higher. But I've never sold one. It was just like a hunch. So knowing that it sold quickly, I probably would have auctioned that one too. Um, but hey, you know, you got it free crazy. You got that free. All right. The next item is this vintage mother of pearl caviar server open salt cellar dish bowl spoon set of 10 keywords, keywords, keywords. I need to like message her and say, give me keywords for this item because she's fantastic. Um, all right. Mother of pearl. Okay. $10 estate sale. 
of people that traveled the world, got so many great things there. Isn't it fun when you look back and you're like, oh, I remember where I got that and they had so much great stuff. Yes, I do that all the time. Uh, sold these for $99.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Panasonic portable CD player jogger, radio headphone vintage, and it is new old stock. $7 at an estate sale and sold for $99.99. And the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Mary Inglebright Ho 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 Santa Claus Peppermint Needlepoint Stocking Red Velvet is what it says. Um, let's see. There you go. That's what the tag looks like. And there's the other tag. And she said, Goodwill, a dollar sold in a day. Almost anything. M.E. is a bolo. So Mary Inglebright is a good item to be on the lookout for. She's saying that it sells well. And actually, when I was looking at her solds, I saw two other items that were the same brand that she had sold. The next item is this Colinet, C-O-L-I-N-E-T-T-E, -E -E, yarn to dye, D-Y-E, for throw pullover cardigan kit wool mohair blue vintage. Okay, so I'm going to scroll in for you guys so you can see what this looks like because um, this stuff, wait until, wait until you hear, if you're not looking, what this sold for. $443 on auction, you guys, plus the buyer paid the shipping. So she paid $12 at the last day of an estate sale. Vintage high-end yarn. Couldn't decide how to price because there weren't any comps, exact comps. So I started the auction at 200 and the last minute it went from 243 up to 443. That is fantastic. And it's got this cool little um, advertisement that appears to be vintage. Um, I don't see any dates or anything, but that sure looks vintage to me. The next item that sold are these Trippin, T-R-I-P-P-E-N, women's boots. Um, eight and a half, they're knee high, tall knee high lace up back. And these, she got $10. She paid $10, got at the same auction pickup garage sale, got two other pairs that sold for about a hundred each as well. And they all had scuffing on the toes. They are made in Germany and very high quality. So they are pre-owned and they're uh, riding boots, I believe. Um, not 100% sure, but they sure look like it. So yeah, I mean, they've got some scuffing for sure. $127.49. So just because you see some scuff and some love, people will still buy them. And the last item is this vintage Bavano of... Sh Shasire, I have no idea. Watermill enamel copper sculpture wall art. Again, I would have been like, what on earth do I call this? <laughs> Great keywords. Um, let's see. There is maybe some info back here. Okay, so that helped a little, um, but not much. So yeah, very, very interesting piece. I'm not sure I would have picked that up. Um, let's see what she says about it. $3 last day of estate sale. Definitely a Bolo brand. It caught my eye on the wall. I had never heard of the brand. I checked comps. I was shocked. This was vintage and a rare design probably could have gotten more. All right. So I am going to take you over to visit store. Oh man, my computer has been doing this all day. There we go. Yay. Top drawer boutique is her store. I am going to link it down below if you guys want to go and check out what else she has because she has a fantastic store, um, a nice variety of just different stuff. You know, um, she just has a great eye. So definitely go down and check that out. Oh, see these guys right here. I sell those. I find these all the time and some of them sell for more than others, but they always sell. Um, yeah, I have a few listed in my store right now, but yeah, definitely neat, neat, neat store. Um, let's see what else she's got. 
And I like the name, Top Drawer Boutique. So again, this will be linked down in the description of the video if you wanna check out what else she has sold and some of her other active listings, maybe you'll see something you wanna buy. All right, so again, this gal was from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and she sent me the link to the auction. So if you guys ever have an auction that has bids and it's an item that you picked up that's a Bolo, please message me on Facebook and I will get that shared in the group. It helps others learn, it gets eyes on your items, somebody may buy it, you never know, it's happened before. And um, I just happened to look at her solds. I was kind of being nosy. And I was like, do you want to be featured? And she's like, yes, I would love to be featured. And I'm like, okay. So I sent her the information that I needed. These were the items that I picked. I thought they were fantastic. I know that I learned a lot. Did you learn a lot? Put it in the comments what your favorite Bolo was. And if you have an eBay store and you have Bolos and you want to be featured, feel free to reach out to me um, in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. There's a link down in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'll see you at the next video.